this we are going to learn about the line test by channel we can basically use that and why you should use the line test by channel hey guys it's me sajad hosen i'm a game developer and level designer in software engineering and you're currently watching now tech learning so in this video we're going to learn about the line test by channel the blueprint code this is a very useful blueprint code in unreal engine so i'm demonstrating you in unreal engine 5 this is the same process for unreal engine 4 so you find line test by channel by with line test by channel you can do a couple of things like there's a lots of thing you can do with line test but first let's start how you can execute the start and end point or the vectors you can find first of all a executor to execute this blueprint so let's execute with our left mouse once we press the left mouse it should be execute we found the start point or the start location that is in a vector variable so the start location is mean that from where it should be start the line trace so for do that we'll be go in our viewport and for example we will be choose our camera so wherever camera is looking like it's looking up down left or right it should be start from there so just get our first person character camera and from that we need to search get world location this is a vector where uh, a return node and then return value with a start. Then we need basically a endpoint. The endpoint the or the end location is mean basically at how much distance after it should be not work or it should be it can be go. So for do that we can uh, from the first person camera will be get forward vector and from the forward vector will be get a return value and will be multiply with float so just search multiply and in unreal engine 5 there's an issue that it will be don't show you the integer you want to multiply with float integer or some others variable so you need to do it manually so just right select this point and right mouse and convert to and give it that float singer and then set the value to so that how much distance you wants to it can be go and then from the get world location you need to plus that vector and then just join with this one then you need to connect it with your endpoint okay so guys this is the uh, most easiest way to use the line trace so also for seeing the how the line is uh, line trace working you can set the line trace by channel type camera and trace complexity and you can give that draw debugging type for for duration a compile and save now if i press play and let's pick a gun and as you can see the line test is working okay you find a red dot that is showing you that wire it's basically hitting and you find a line that at which direction it start and wire its end okay that is totally cool now we learned that how you can use the line test but there's a lots of thing more about in line test like you find a actor to ignore it's mean that if you want you can make some specifically player or actor to ignore the line test it's mean that if you add anything on this uh, value so it will be ignored that once or that object or even actor and then it will be work also you find one more uh, movement code that is line test for objects that is also a useful for if you want to create a ai and you want to use the line test for the damage or applying damage or just verify that which type of ai it is so you can use this though that is line test for object that is more powerful because it gives you more uh, opportunity to filter the character class like the object type in object type you can make a area and you can set the class that which type of class it can be take or it should be you know basically cast a uh, world static dynamic pawn physics body vehicle distributor or projectile okay that is more basically very good or more easy to use and it will give you more power to make your game more properly also now let's skip this one and then let's concentrate our line test by channel at line test by channel you find a hit uh, result if you just drag drag and you find a break hit result and if you split that you find couple of things one is block hit then on overlap the hit is mean that if it successfully hit so you will be get a boolean or a true and false that uh, are its hit or it's didn't hit okay then you find overlap what kind of are its overlap with something or not you find a timeline so it will be basically give you the duration about 
the basically the range from like why it start and why it end it will give you the duration then it will give you the distance uh, distance like how much distance it's go you find a result from it here then you find a location that wire is basically the line test and you find the location and the impact point is also similar like the line uh, the location that wire the line test hit but it will give you a more accurate point then you find the normalized version of the impact point and the impact normal then you find the physics mat if you want to verify kind of like some physics natural you can use for this one too also you find a hit actor result so with that you can get that which type of or which type of object it is like if i uh if i like get display name and then let's give it that screen string and also i'm i will be verify that are it's hitting or not that is a simple code or a simple logic and it should be display the name now compile and save now let's click on play let's try to hit something as you can see it's cube one that is cube two also that is another cube and let's try to it's this one as you can see this is our bp okay so yeah you can see that uh while you are basically the line test is hitting it will be getting that name and it will be dis displaying after then you find the hit component that is verify for uh, some if you create some specific some component it will be also verify that it can be verified the bonus name and the hit item element index and also you find some useless kind of like line test start location and endpoint so most of cases this uh this others uh, the return value doesn't need because most of cases you need the block hit the hidden actor which type of actor it is even you can maybe need the impact location or create the why is the basic like gun bullet hit or whatever it is okay so i just hope you understand how you need to use the line just by channel so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video